What is up guys, and we're here with some Pokemon Shield, and this is actually for the Crown Tundra DLC. Yes, it came out, and we are finally here to check it out. Put the gameplay up on the channel, and, you know, see what all we can explore in the new uh, expansion. So, as soon as you launch the game, after you download it, of course, you're going to have this screen that pops up when you come to the game saying the Crown Tundra. You have a Crown Pass. Show it to the rail staff at Wedgehurst Station if you want to visit the Crown Tundra, a land where many mysteries lurk within. New adventures await there, and the blanketing snow hides legendary Pokemon of yore. Boom, you get the Crown Pass, and yeah. I passed to go to Crown Tundra. Good thing I already went to uh, Wedgehurst, actually, because... Oh, I think I'm in Wedgehurst. Yeah. Okay, I, I started off at Wedgehurst because I was like, you know what, they made us come here last time for... Uh, the armor of isles so here we are you have a crown pass too you can also go to the crown tundra where would you like to go today the, the crown tundra station <laughs> why else would i be here <laughs> you know what i came here for oh, i knew it was gonna do that loop around right there i'm like that's the that's the part of the map that looks freaking brand new So, at like one instance, I'm really hyped for this expansion, yet at the same time, I'm not because I know like my Pokemon are over leveled. This must be your first visit to the Crown Tundra, am I right? I'm researching Pokemon biology around here. A number of ancient and rare Pokemon have been spotted in the Crown Tundra, you see? If I update your Pokedex for you, you will help me research what species appear here. Boom, got the upgrade. I don't even remember when I changed my guy's hair. <laughs> Do your best to complete your new Crown Tundra Pokédex. I shall try my best. Uh, if we're gonna look at like the team that I have right now, uh, there was that event, Zorora, Amalamar, uh, Urshifu from the previous expansion. I need to actually switch out this Excadrill. I don't know why I have him at level 60. I think I have a level 100 Excadrill. But level kind of doesn't matter because of uh, when you play competitive, it's just as long as like you hit that stat requirement. I think either they automatically like pull you to level 50, depending on like the battle or you hit the, or if you're already above it, it won't matter. I don't know, I'm overthinking it. Come on dad, lay off and quit following me already. Wait girl, where's your jacket? And not that little school prep jacket. I'm gonna go on a Dynamax adventure in the max lair. And I don't need you breathing down my neck. I'm here to battle loads and loads of rare Dynamax Pokemon. <laughs> don't you fret. I know somewhere way more fun than that musty old place. Get ready for loads of quality time with the coolest dad ever. What a generous and totally unwanted offer. Afraid I've got to say, no thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, Nia, be reasonable or get ready to be ultra mega embarrassed as I unleash the noble roar of dad. God, I'll take a hard pass on that, thanks. Excuse me, hello, yes, you, the boy over there. Don't tell me she wants to battle. My dad is stubborn and still, and he won't leave me alone. Back me up, would you? Yes, brilliant. I have a great time with this geezer then. Oh, have a great time with you. Now, hold on, lad. Can't say I approve of you buttoning in blindly. But if I just give you a trouncing, this young lady here ought to see reason. The name's Peony. Brace yourself, I'm pretty ferocious in battle. All right, Peony. Okay, chill out though. So why do they let him have a beard, but like we can't get a beard out here? He's gonna be like level 60 something. Gah, aren't you the brave one picking a fight with a one-time gym leader? Oh, you used to be a gym leader. Oh, 70 is the level that you have. That's fine. Like we'll still just beat you up, bro. Not bad, not bad at all, but watch out. Next time, it's my turn. Do you not remember, or maybe he doesn't know. I'm the champion. Okay, Kadrill, you can get that EXP. Agron, ah, oh, yeah. About to send out an Agron on me, huh? Agron is uh, my favorite Steel-type Pokemon, actually. Well, 
steel ground type. Steel as tough as they come. The more hits it takes, the more ultra mega. Oh man, that was too fast for me to read. <laughs> oh man, it kind of feels a little bittersweet having to take out an aggron, but it probably has sturdy, right? Yep. Is that a citrus berry? Okay. So sturdy and a citrus berry. Body press. Yeah, because I have that dark typing. And body press is a fighting move, I believe. I guess it does make sense for them to give the Agron the citrus berry because if you just one hit KO him and takes him down to sturdy, the hail's just going to take him out the next round. So I see why they implemented that. Boom. Guess it's not my place to be bragging. It sure isn't, sir. God, look at me taking a thrasher from a youngster like you. Hmm? Yeah, your, your, your daughter done left. Your darling daughter's disappeared. Where have you gone, my sweet Nia? Darling daughter, eh? Of course, my Nia's the sweetest, darlingest daughter a dad could ask for. Okay, like, chill out, bro. I brought her here out of... I brought her out here so we could have a proper father-daughter trip. First one in ages. And as we got here, she grabs the first trainer she finds, makes some a decoy, and legs it. That's my dear Nia for you. That's just her back way of showing her papa she loves him. <laughs> is it? <clears throat> That's the type of girl she is. Ultra mega charming, isn't it? Still, without her, I can't start this adventure of legendary spots I've planned for us. She mentioned wanting to have a gander at some place called the Max Lair, didn't she? Sounds to me like she wants a good old papa to chase after her. Well, she needn't worry. I'm not one for wasting time. Which means it's time I gotta move on. Cheers for a fine battle. I'll be seeing you then, lad. Take care of those strong Pokemon of yours. Uh, always? Always take care of them? So here we are. Uh, in the Crown Tundra. Slippery Slope. Wait, did it show on the map, like, where I needed to specifically go? No, it just shows a flag there, so I'm guessing there's a den nearby we need to interact with. Or maybe I'll just get these watts. It's been a minute since, uh, oh wow, I saw blue. Uh, yeah, I was like, let's get on the bike so we can travel. Well, never mind, I only had to go up, like... A couple feet more. Aha, this must be the max layer that Nia was talking about. It must be, sir. Which means my darling daughter's in there right now having a giggle with some rare Dynamax Pokemon. As I stare from a distance like, Sir, you're being creepy. Quit obsessing over your daughter. Hmm. Oh, it's you again. Well, kid, maybe you ought to come as well. Right, just hold on, my... Hold on, Nia, my dear. Here comes Papa! Okay. He a little extra there. Didn't mean to open up the map. I actually wanted to switch out. Uh, poke, whichever Pokemon I'm starting with. Uh, cause I do actually mix, I miss my Toxicroak. I don't know where I put my Toxicroak in here. But my Shining Toxicroak is, uh, or not Toxicroak, Seismitoad. Uh, you're not it. It's somewhere in here, guys. I, I know it's somewhere, unless it's in, like, my battle box. Because I just use it for competitive, uh, reasons. So let me see, is it in a battle box or something? No, it's not. So maybe I'm just, okay, we won't, we won't pay too much attention to that. It is what it is. Oh wow, Mammoth Swine. I hope it's not like just... Oh snap, they got the, the fossil uh, ice Pokemon. This actually looks cool, like they changed up like what good layers look like or something. Ah, uh, we got some Sheetles there. Please sir, I can't let you. Oh, I think you can. My precious daughter's in there and I'm going in after her. I understand, sir, but... But what? I'm here to have an adventure, and I want to kick it off right now. 
I simply can't allow it, sir. Ugh. Oh, there you are, lad. So you've come after all, have you? Nothing's all right, and everything's the matter. This ultra-mega numpty of a scientist insists on getting in my way. A numpty of a... I beg your pardon, sir. If you'd be so good as to simply listen, I could let you through. Dynamax adventures are quite fraught with peril, I'm afraid, and... God, I got no patience for standing here listening to you rattle off the fine print. <sighs> We're just going around in circles. You seem to know this gentleman. Would you simply listen to my explanation? If so, then I could allow the two of you to enter as a pair. Aha, now you're talking. Go on then, let's hear what the good lady's got to say. And then we'll go find my little Nia together, right? Right? Are you ready to hear my explanation of Dynamax Adventures? That's what I like to hear, mate. I owe you one. Very well. Then I will proceed. The Max Lair is a labyrinth underground cavern where rare Pokemon dwell, the likes of which normally are not found in the Galar region. Form a team of four trainers set off to explore the mysterious Max Lair, see if you can find the legendary Pokemon said to await you in the deepest part of this unusual den. To take part in a Dynamax adventure, you must borrow a single Pokemon to accompany you. Get things started by having each trainer select the Pokemon they will take with them on their adventure. As you explore this den, you'll come to branches in your path. Decide as a team which way to go when you come across a Dynamax Pokemon. It'll be time for a max raid battle. Catch the Pokemon you can swap with the one you have. You think it'll help you press on into the depths of the... This is interesting. To avoid the risk of Gala Particle overexposure, which can cause your own dear Pokemon to lose control, we have prepared Pokemon for you that are resistant to the Particles effect. Right, right, I follow you. You're saying you don't want Gala losing control, so the Pokemon rent some Particles. And we might see a rare overexposure. That was stunningly incorrect, sir. This is a dangerous place. Please make sure you're a firm, you've a firm grasp of the rules. I'm still a touch lost, but that's the type of place this is, eh? Right, sounds like this will be a bit beyond me, so I'll just go on and get it cracking. Here comes Papa, my darling Nia. Sir, no, I've just told you, it's too dangerous. What is going on with that man? He looks so much like Chairman Rose, but his attitude doesn't match the Chairman's at all. Well, when you're ready to go chase him down, huh? Your Dynamax... Oh, pardon me, I meant when you're ready to begin your Dynamax adventure. Please let me know. I guess... Uh, I'll let you... If you go on a Dynamax adventure, I'll provide you with one Dynite Ore as a reward. I will also help you... Allow you to keep one, just one of the Pokemon you catch along the way. Would you like to embark? Yes. Yep, we'll save and get this crack. And this is actually pretty interesting, because... Now it does feel like an event. You're still new to Dynamax Adventures, so we we'll suggest trying them alone for now. Just get a little familiar with the rules before you invite some friends to join you. Okay. Okay, so then you get to choose. Uh, and it's only these three? Uh, I haven't fought with a Wigglytuff in a while. Oh, you have way better. Okay, so whoever picks first, like they take the first pick and then new Pokemon get selected to be chosen. For wow, that. Man, I wanted Slow King. That would have been nice to have a Slow King. So it's a water type up there. I like how it tells you like the typing at least. So because we're going up against. We're going to take water just because we have two grass types on. And then the Tentacruel has poison. So I'm like, that could be pretty clutch for us. And then if this is something we want to catch, a water type, then we can, again, choose another path to select between, uh, so Relicant? Yeah, Relicant. Well, we're not gonna, we're not gonna catch a Relicant at all. Unless this Wigglytuff really is just trash. What's Expanding Force do? User attacks the target with the Psychic Power, the moves power goes up and damages all opposing Pokemon on Psychic Terrain. Okay, well... We'll just use this. Ooh, okay. Y'all don't even need me. Oh, but you're faster than us still? I'm actually kind of surprised. And a sandstorm, okay. And I see that I think Dragon was an option, so I think I might take the path for Dragon anyway. Oh, so now we're going to be like the fastest ones in here. Okay, Trick Room.
I don't remember taking this much damage. Because uh, I don't even like Relicanth as a Pokemon. It'd be cool if it had an evolution, but it doesn't. Okay, so... Does on only one person gets to choose, I guess. Okay, and you don't get healed up, either. But wait, what's the what's up with the person there? Does the person there heal up your team? Like, everybody's uh, Pokemon throughout the... Throughout the adventure? Oh, snap! I'm taking this. Uh Man, I can't even I can't even heal up. Oh, did you heal me? Oh, snap, sweet. I'm like that hits everybody, right? Of course you get the critical hit on Wiggly. Oh snap, you froze Lilligant. I wonder if everybody had to choose between the same uh the same Pokemon in the beginning. Oh yeah. So does that mean uh, Dragonair goes like second to last? Why isn't it just using special special attack moves on this though? So I'm kind of I'm kind of confused. And then I'm also like, okay, like after we catch it and choose to take this like on our team, does it get fully healed up? Or it won't even matter being that we're moving on to like the next person that might heal us up. I'm like also wondering, I'm like, is it like 100% cast rate in here? I don't know, but I like the luxury ball, so that's what we're going to throw. <laughs> feel like it's a mistake, but I don't know. We'll have to see. Oh, yeah. It looks like 100% catch rate. And that's what I'm choosing to take with. Yeah. You encountered the scientists. Yep, so encountering scientists. Oh, never mind. It's not even healing up. It's just swapping. Okay, so that's good to know. You can always swatch, swap out for a different Pokemon when you get this far if you don't feel too confident in uh in your team like that. Uh We'll go poison. Just because dark is super effective. <laughs> oh, Vile Plume, okay. Ah, uh, that's okay. Yeah, I was like, for a second, I was like, is Blizzard gonna hit my whole team? But it's not. Why are you using head smash? Like, bro, re relax. <laughs> oh, we got a burn on it. Okay. Who are you going for? Dang. We would get our special attack lower, even though, like, that's all we do.
Like y'all don't y'all don't see I'm trying to I'm trying to Dynamax too. It's like wondering. This boosts the user speed stat but lowers its defense stat, which I don't really care for. Maybe I should have just went with dark. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was like, I thought it was specifically single targeting me, but again, that was a waste of a turn. You could have just used another flamethrower. <laughs> now this like fight's gonna take longer than I wanted it to. I'm guessing she's the only one that can Dynamax. I don't know. It's, now it's just like I, I really hate the the AIs that fight with you now because I should have just came in here with some with some random people. <laughs> oh, now I can Dynamax. I'm like the last person that's like able to Dynamax. Because uh, if y'all not doing something, I definitely will. I like how they're forcing you to use like lower level Pokemon too. This should take it out though. Whenever I get this move off. I can share my oh snap okay this thick pair of glasses slightly boost the power of special moves oh man they're they're telling me hurry the hell up Okay, guys, I, I messed up. Uh, I have a, <laughs> I have a Dragonair out here. Ah, oh, you kept that vile plume too. It has the poison typing on it. Why are you using a water move on it? Let's try to hit Thunder again. Oh my god, can we can we hit a thunder? 
Is that a psychic or a fairy move? A critical hit. Did it take it out? I needs to know. The battlefield got weird. <laughs> We're still going to try to hit with this thunder. Thank you. At least someone's using like a super effective move and it's landing. You just wasting these heals. Oh, Thunder doesn't even do much. I'm like, you know what? It ain't even worth it. <laughs> Missing is not worth it. Until I can Dynamax and actually put some oomph into that electric move. <sighs> Again, why, why, why? Why, 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 why? Oh yeah, at least I'm getting faster, right? Oh man, you're gonna raise your special attack and defense like right when I'm gonna be Dynamaxing soon? Oh, uh, I said soon like, <laughs> like I was just about to do so. Again, why reflect? Like, reflect, it's using like special attacks. This person's like wasting, wasting Trevon. I was not expecting this much time to be taken up. I, do, I didn't even know we were going to be doing adventures like this. The heck? <laughs> Suicune is growing desperate. It took out just Vile Plume, right? I like how it just says, like, the battlefield got weird, though. Like, it got weird. Ugh. Okay, multi hit move. Did that even do one one damage? <clears throat> okay, that one did like the most damage out of all of those. It's going to take forever for me to Dynamax, I swear. And by the time I Dynamax, it's probably going to take me out. Like, like what?
Yeah, I'm still not sure if it's like 100% catch rate or not. So we're just going to test it out. Even though Suicune is like one of my favorite like legendary roaming dogs uh, Pokemon, I'm like, we're still going to try it out with the Luxury Ball, see if it's 100% catch rate or not. Because if it just goes again, just catches on like that second like uh, wiggle. All right, yeah, we got it. Okay, that kind of still didn't confirm if it was 100%, but I'm going to just say so because I used the Luxury Ball. And Luxury Balls don't have a good capture rate. They just look really cool. Uh, of course, we're going to keep Suicune. Oh, and then you get Dynite Ore. I got nine Dynite Ore. I guess we'll just add you to the party. And I'll swap you out with uh, Milotic. Um, okay. So we can enter this layer multiple times, or is there going to be, like, different layers throughout the map? Hang on, I recognize you. Are you here for our Dynamax Adventure 2? Wicked, guess we're on the same wavelength. I'm Peonia. <laughs> Peonia. <laughs> nice to properly meet you. What about you? What's your name? Wow, that's a perfect name for you. It really suits you. So is my dad on his way here too? I haven't seen him. He Has he got turned around and wound up back at the entrance? Listen, sorry for using you to distract my old man back there. He's as stubborn as a mud braid. Things go all right after I left. Oh, things go all right after I left? What, you beat my old man? You're sh you sure pulled a blinder there. Used to be a gym leader, you know. Even on holiday, he's no pushover. You know, my dad was going mad with excitement for this trip. He kept going on about how he'd planned for us to check out local legends on the Super Intense Adventure Tour, or Adventor, as he calls it. But I mean, come on, what girl my age would be caught dead doing some naff thing like that with her dad? Besides, I really fancy having more battles with Dynamax Pokemon. Ah, the thrill of battling one of those massive, towering Pokemon. Just thinking about it gets me pumped. <laughs> okay. You know what? I've just had a thought. You're a pretty fierce trainer, right? Then I bet you can handle taking my place on my old man's adventure. Sounds like great fun, I guess. Too right it does. It's a brilliant idea if I do say so myself. He's so hyped up all about he's so hyped up about all this, it'd be a shame to just leave him on his own. And who knows, you could end up running into a legendary Pokemon. How about I meet back up with you two after I've had my own fun in the Max Slayer? Go on then, enjoy your twosome tour of legends. <laughs> Tell my old man that the deal and all that okay so I need to just get back into using like in in a British accent oi <laughs> all right guys we're gonna end this episode off here because we're gonna end up seeing what's up with a uh, peony and why he's oing all the time over here. So with that said, guys, make sure you leave a like for the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have yet to subscribe to the channel. It helps out my channel a lot. With that said, stay sharp. Later.